In this video, we're going to talk about atomic mass, the mass of an atom. Atoms are too small to weigh on a scale. So what scientists did is they started by looking at carbon-12, the isotope carbon-12, which has six protons and six neutrons. Each proton and each neutron has a mass of one atomic mass unit, or AMU. So carbon-12 has an atomic mass of 12 atomic mass units. And then what they did was compare the rest of the atoms and isotopes with carbon-12. For instance, an atom half as heavy as carbon-12 would weigh 6 AMU. Uh, an atom twice as heavy would be 24 AMU. But how do we compare masses of such tiny little particles? So we look at something called mass spectroscopy. It's a pretty complicated instrument, but it's a fairly simple idea. An atom, okay, an atom enters in here, and what it is is it's ionized, okay, which means that its electron is removed, so it has a positive charge. So it's going to go through this column with a positive charge, and when a positive charge hits a magnet, it gets deflected or bent. The extent to which it deflects the particle, the magnet, depends on how heavy the ions are. It will deflect an atom or an ion that's twice as heavy, half as much. So you can tell kind of some of these are deflected quite a bit more than others. So these ones here that are deflected the least are the heaviest, and then these are the ones that are the lightest because they're deflected the most. For instance, when you put a carbon-12 ion through, it will get deflected exactly 1.583 times more than an isotope of fluorine. So that means that this isotope of fluorine must be 1.583 times heavier than the carbon. So you take the 12 AMU for the carbon and you multiply it by 1.583 and you come out to be 19.00 AMU. So this is a fluorine 19 isotope. Okay. Let me put the 9 down here. A mass spectrometer is going to give us three pieces of information. It's going to give us the number of isotopes. You can see them here. You see um, couple of uh, kind of hills here. There's one isotope, two isotopes. It gives us the mass of each isotope, and that's on the x-axis here, and these are in AMU. Sorry, 37, not 38. So there's two isotopes, chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. It also gives us the percent abundance of each isotope. This one is much taller than this one, because this is about 75% chlorine 35 and only about 25 percent chlorine 37. If we looked at the actual numbers for chlorine 35 it would give us the data of the mass is 34.97 AMU and it is 75.53 percent and chlorine 37 has a mass of 36.97 AMU and 24.47%. So let's look at a few other um, mass specs and see if we can figure out what they're showing us. So first of all, this is the mass spec of an atom. Can you tell me how many isotopes it has? Well, one, two, three. So we know there's three isotopes and we know they weigh about 70, 72, and 74 AMU. So the atomic mass must be somewhere between 70 and 72. Now on the periodic table, the atomic masses are these numbers that are not whole numbers. So this looks like it must be germanium. Okay, So this is a mass spec for germanium. Here, you can see again there's only two isotopes and they weigh about 10 and 11 AMU 
and then there's more of the 11. So the atomic mass is going to be between 10 and 11, but closer to 11. So it looks like it's boron. And lastly, here's an atom that has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 isotopes. And they are 90, 91, 92, 94, and 96 AMU. So our atomic mass is going to be somewhere between 90 and 96. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't think it's going to be nine. I don't think it's going to be that one because the bigger ones are down here. It could be either one of these. I'd have to do some calculations to figure out which one it is, and that's what we're going to do in the next video.